All right, welcome back to remote learning lesson number seven. We are going to be talking about ratios. Remember, when we are doing ratios, we can write them in three different ways. I can write them as a fraction, one over six. We could compare one boy to six girls in a classroom. With this fraction, we, have, we can write it as one colon six, one to six, or one to six. All right, so looking at the example over here, I have the ratio of four stars two, two, three, four, five, six triangles. My ratio could be four to six. Remember, whenever we are, we can write it in three different ways, like I just stated, four over six, and then four colon six. Whenever we are doing ratios, we must reduce our ratios by dividing the greatest common factor. Remember, think back to lesson number one that we talked about that. The greatest common factor for four and six is two, so I'm gonna divide the numerator and the denominator by two to get our reduced ratio, which is two over three. Two over three is an equivalent ratio to four over six. On your worksheet, you will see that you're gonna be having to fill out a ratio table. I'm gonna use the exact same example that we used, stars to triangles, four over six. Four stars for every six triangles, okay? I'm gonna look down here. I see six, I'm trying to think to myself, how many times can six go into 18? I can do 18 divided by six, which is three, so six times three is 18. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. Four times three is 12. So an equivalent ratio to four stars to six triangles is 12 stars for every 18 triangles. Thinking the same way, how many times can four go into 24? Four times six, is 24. So I, whatever I do to the top, I must do to the bottom. Six times six is 36. And all of these ratios are equivalent to one another. Stay tuned for number eight.